Welcome to Middle-earth Shadow of War and my wonderful little fortress that I've just conquered. Where I left it last time I'd literally I think it just conquered this place and then I went and did a mission for well, fighting Nazgul which irritated me. Maybe it says me correctly. However, the next mission I'm going to do is Conquest, the fortress at Shark Burrs in Nernan is yours, yet this is the only first battle in the war for Mordor, and more fortresses remain to be captured. So, let me head down to the start point of this mission. In my wonderful little fortress. And... What else they didn't want me to do? Almost forgot to tell you one last thing. Now that you have my fort, it will eventually come under attack. Which you already know since you attacked it once yourself. Nicely done, by the way. The thing is, you don't always need to be on the defense. You have scouts who can sniff out enemy forts so you can go on the attack yourself. You know what they say, the best offense is a good offense. And don't worry about running low on orcs. If you ever need new recruits, you go talk to a glob they call the Headhunter. He'll sort you out. Oh, Shrock! I forgot to fill Ranger's feeding bowl before I left. He's gonna be cranky if I don't get back. I'm coming, Ranger! Okay. You now can. Now that you control a fortress, you can launch attacks against other players' fortresses. Start an online conquest mission to find a player to attack. If you succeed, you can improve your rank and earn valuable rewards. Siege. Be sure to bolster your own defences. As well, powerful war chiefs and siege upgrades will strengthen your fortress. Other players can't affect your orcs or your fortress in your game, but defending well against their attacks can improve your rank. Okay. I really don't want to do online conquest. However has given me some new missions, or a new mission. Every fortress has a training ground, but there's nowhere better for an orc to hold his skill than the fight pits. There's no one who knows more about the fight pits than Bruce. Okay. The fighting pits are the perfect place to test the strength of our orcs. Indeed. Let us hope we can get a seat. Do a bit of fast travelling over to the fighting pits. Apparently, even though I own the fortress, doesn't mean I own everything in the area. If I could jump off this tower, it'd be nice. All these orcs around here aren't mine. Fine. The fight pits. Every fortress has a training ground, but there's nowhere better for an orc to hone his skills than the fight pits. And there's no one who knows more about the fight pits than Bruce. Ah, the fight pits. You know, this is more than just a place to pop some orcs' heads off. Although that is uh, something I cannot recommend enough. But the fight pits are where you can test your followers. See what happens when they have a go at some other geezer. They're always bringing in tough orcs to fight. And if your fella survives, he'll be stronger for the experience. If he snuffs it, well, the one who done it in has what it takes, so there's a potential new recruit. And however it shakes out, your boys will love watching the show. Nothing boosts morale up like bodies going down. Catagol! Alright, yeah! Okay. One well, of my boys is fighting some guy I've never seen before. You've died! Not doing very well with this Caragor. That's better. I'm not afraid of you, Caragor! Break him out! This will hurt! Caragor's not seem to have a very good... Yeah, face me! Attack is this guy. Oh, he's dazed my guy. My guy's in a bit of trouble. Don't you know how strong I am? And the Caragor doesn't seem to be that interested. Bye. Thank you, Spray! Okay. Oh, 
guy. But he was facing uh, fuck the Whisperer. See? Wasn't that a good time? Grog was drunk, laughs were had, blood was shed, and Grog was drunk. Ah, there's no fight like a pit fight. Okay. We got something out of that. Now you control the region, you can send your followers to fight in the pits. Followers who survive will increase their level. To send a follower to fight an enemy orc, go to the fight pit mission start point. Each region has three fights of increasing difficulty, with victory in one unlocking the next. Victory in all unlocks, all three unlocks the citadel upgrade, this region's fortress. You can also make two followers fight each other by commanding them from the army menu. This increases... This creates fight pits follower missions. Online fight pits. You can have your overlords fight other players' overlords in online fight pits. Keep winning and your overlord become legendary. Lose and you have to find a new overlord. Okay. I've now unlocked a new region. Or two. Or three. This region known as. Okay, well, that's a region. Oh, machine Bastion level 269. That's a Bastion 197. And that is a 253. Tough little places. I've only got the one region. Is there a fortress in here? the Overlord. Yeah, that's where the Witch King hangs out. Fair enough! We had a curious day and we go fast travel to one of these places. Because I've never seen them. Looks pretty industrial. And that guy seems to be throwing bombs. So I've got new regions to explore, if nothing else. Now that you travel throughout Mordor, you've also unlocked challenges. Complete challenges to sharpen your skill and earn rewards. View challenges in the quest menu. Good to know. Daily challenge. Take aim at your enemies in minutes. Or head your enemies. Okay. Fine, I appear to have a load of challenges. Tribal Warband Outlaw. A new orc faction, the Outlaw Tribe, is rampaging across Mordor in a bid for absolute supremacy. Tribal Warbands are led by an epic and legend legendary orcs. You can dominate and recruit these powerful enemies to bolster your ranks or kill them to gain higher quality gear. Killing a legendary orc grants you a piece of Outlaw legendary gear set. Okay, that's very nice. Oh, guild. A new orc fashion, the Slaughter Tribe is carving its way across Mordor, butchering everything in its path. Same as the other one. Right, now if I can have a look at the map of where I currently am. I kind of need to get to these 
Straight. Okay, that will be the the big fortress in the area, which I do not want to go near right now. Well, let's see if I can find my way to that fast travel point without getting absolutely massacred. Personally, I have my doubts. Jump up there, never mind. I gotta find some way across there. And that looks like a good enough way as any. the Gondorian artifact. Wasn't really looking for one, but I found it one anyway. It has long been customary for the people of Minisethal to offer an amphora of water or wine to any visitor from beyond our walls. Such travellers were rare, especially recently, and making the trek to the frontier almost guaranteed a thirsty guest. But when our need was greatest, no one from Gondor came to our gates, thirsty or otherwise. Okay. This amphora, it is older than it appears. Just as well we reclaimed it then. The Yorks would sully it with their grog. Okay, I appear to have found a fortress. Not that I'm not bothered about the fortress I've just found. Wait. <laughs> Okay, I'm meant to go up there, am I? Let me just go straight up. I can play with my character, I really don't mind. Building. Not seeing it. Hmm. Ah. Why? 
right down there. That found me a load of stuff to look at. And oh, I'm over here now, aren't I? Okay. Tribal Warband Slaughter. Okay, walks from the slaughter region for attacking this place. Let me mark that so I get it out of the way. TM. Audacity to attack me? Okay. Oh, as irritating as I find them to do. It was this one. Ah, tribal showdown outlaw. A captain of the outlaw tribe is seeking a worthy opponent. What the heck? I feel like being a worthy opponent right now. Let's see what this captain of the outlaw tribe is actually like. We will suffer no trespassers in Mordor. No man, no elf. No, it is you intruders who will suffer. <laughs> Crowd dealt with. Not the crowd, the Karagor. Come on, chase me, guys, chase me. Thank you. The reason I told you to chase me, and that was it. Going back all over the place. Now apparently I'm out of health. Sure. Which is all well and wonderful. Where is he? You execution proof as well as arrow proof or whatever other proof you were? Fire proof is the other thing you were. You're not arrow proof either, apparently. Yeah, that hurt. You thought you were so tough, didn't you? You work for me now. You serve me now. I will serve you, serve you. No harm will come to you. somewhere. Orcs from the Slaughter Tribe are attacking this region. Okay. Right, I'll go for the Gondorian artifact. They're ain't easy to find. Deal with in Shelob's memories. And frequently easier to find. <laughs> I do not fear the orcs, but in the deep of night I will admit this. I fear their drums. An orc can be defeated in battle. His threat can be walled off or outmaneuvered. But the low rumbling of the drums, Pretty that drum. cannot be halted by any artifice of man. Those drums are the heartbeat of their factories, 
and every beat marks the orcs' relentless advance. We seized these drums in a raid, and I locked them up in the Great Hall so that no orc could ever play them again. Okay. You fear their drums. So the orcs have musicians among them? Hardly. Uruks are made for warfare, not artistry. My last overlord was weak, so we tore him to pieces and carried his head on the spot. <laughs> Yeah, interesting little place they've got down here. I'm guessing in there somewhere is the Shelob's memory. That's a captain. Did not realize that was a captain. Invader, I am the protector of Mordor, its faithful servant. You have Whoa. made a terrible mistake invading our lands. I agree, I probably have. There's also arrow proof. Whoa, who are you? Whoa! I think I might want some pikes here. That was a tad unintentional. That's a level 31, a level 32, and a level 26. Now I can try and brutalize this guy. But he's pretty, pretty good at that one. I'm about to be trapped again, aren't I? For the slaughter. Feel it. Feel it. Okay. Brutalize and stealth attacking didn't work. Arrows didn't seem to do much. Fire didn't seem to do much. Houston, I got a problem. At least they're not willing to climb up here. That's something. Could escape. I'm kind of waiting for them to get bored. I don't think I stealth attacked you last time. You wouldn't. You cannot defeat us all. Right, I can't defeat you all, and being belted like that is not going to do me any good whatsoever. Anytime you like, you can go up. Oh, for God's sake. What's this idiot doing? Damage either. Yeah, I don't think I want to be in this area fighting this lot. Get out of my league. I've got too fine a point in it. Okay. 
Okay. Oh, not another one. Upon the glory of the Blood Axe. Behold its wondrous splendor, for it will be the end of you. It spoke to me. <laughs> it told me how it yearns to taste your warm, wet flow. It wants to bathe in your essence and delight in your death. He's a chatty and one, this one. Blood Axe wants the Blood Axe gets. Blood. Bloody blood. Ah. Oh. Bloody blood. Yeah, Houston, I've got another problem with this one. Might have been leaving again. Jump, you fool! Don't give me this. I don't want to be in this area much longer, I don't think. limits to what I can do against these guys and I think I have reached my limits so I think I need to go north basically however to get north I might have to go past these guys again Yep. I think I need to go up that road there where those two captains and all those caragors are currently standing guard. Maybe I can go this way. Nasty over this general direction. That's just a character. Shame the guy then. This is a tough area to be around. I don't think I'm quite at the level I need to be to be playing in this area. So on that happy note, 
I'm going to fast travel back to my wonderful place where I'm safe. And I'm going to end this episode and go away and have a rethink. However, as always, I hope you enjoyed or at least enjoyed my struggle there. And hopefully I will see you down the road for more of Middle-Earth Shadow of War. Cheerio!